What's up guys and gals? Today's video is all about the Witch Hunter, a Geese class that can play both in melee and in ranged uh, stance and uh, can do some pretty cool things. Also get this really cool pet. So let's talk about the Witch Hunter. Uh, the Witch Hunter can be a tank on this spec I tried it guys, it's really not good, it has bad AoE threat, you need to play with, with this, but it has a really long cooldown. You can even tank without this ability here, until you get till level 39 I think, so you don't even think about tanking with this guy until level 39. Uh, this little um, uh, health drain ability is not much, because this class is uh, a leather class where is the skills you can see here he's wearing leather he can equip equip shield i tried tanking with him uh both with a shield and two wielding uh and uh two wielding really is not a thing you really need the shield for this guy single target threat was okay um the damage was okay i would say but overall attacking experience with this dude here uh, not that good but i changed to this spec to darkness which is all about shadow magic and abilities and i got this cool pet and uh, unlocked the third stance the witch blast musket stance which gives you pistol abilities how cool is that and uh, the class was really better you can go bolt stringer which is a little bit more dps and um uh, with cross bolts really nice you also i think you get like a f yeah a small stealth so good in pvp this class also good in pvp so let's recap tank uh aoe and spell melee and keys and pistols and uh, ball stringing rage dps and a little bit of pvp this class can do lots of things it has uh, abilities that uses rage and mana you see uh, this one uses rage this one uses mana this was range abilities from the crossbow stance which is the ranged one and let's go to my blazing blade which is the melee stance that uses melee abilities I have two really good abilities this one that uh, uses mana and this one that uses rage so cool things happening with this class uh, also this class doesn't have a good buff i really need to say that uh, you get this reputation buff which is okay uh, but the, the trade-off is that you can have uh, many play styles uh, i really like stance classes and uh, let me dive in a little bit on how this class is played um okay my pet gonna destroy this one but uh trust me uh, the range abilities are really good and you can kite till uh, the, ne the nether days with this dude with this with this move vault it's like a short charge uh, and uh, you can use it a lot uh, you also get this hunt so you hunt so you can uh, also move, move really really far um, let me do like a showcase I will play with uh, the crossbow. A cool thing is that when I use a crossbow stance, my character uses crossbows. When I'm using my blazing blade, my <laughs> character uses a torch. How cool is that? Um, and yeah, let me just do uh, the melee now. Uh, check out this. He dies fast, my drain is a little bit weird today. I didn't even use my drain life uh, ability from uh, the tanking tree. Um, so I got my rage, now I can move. Come here, I want to kick your ass. Boom, mana, mana, bam. I just destroyed him and I didn't even use my slayer mark that improves critical strike rating, that's another nice mechanic. Uh, check this out, pet go kill him and uh, let me use this hunter mark, you see I'm getting the hunter mark, now I have more critical let's go to the crossbows you see critical is happening, I can even move, I'm something like that 
he's closing in good DPS really really nice abilities uh, really cool mechanics uh, I think you get to get this one that my Saber Slash does more abilities because I was using the ranged uh, abilities and if I go to my stance I just destroy him oh what's this oh yeah wickedness there's also a mechanic that you get wickedness and um, how it's called uh, something with uh, light with good uh, yeah there's a, a, yeah wickedness and purity the good and evil mechanic that do, do abilities extra effect that's a nice cool mechanic so you can be between light and dark I would want to play class that has a light and dark theme uh, this one is a nice ability uh, let me showcase the crossbolt uh, I think he's gonna die oh yeah I need to change my stance uh, need rage tormental bolt I got a debuff taking shadow damage and as you see he dies pretty fast so let's recap dual crossbow stance you can do melee damage, you need to change, but I've got this nice ability, I can move around. Uh, Blazing Blade, uh, the melee stance, you got cool abilities, you got a finisher and uh, and a, a mana, a cyber slash ability that uses a lot of mana, you need like to remember this. And uh, you get the Witch, Bla the Witch Blast Musket uh, stance, which is the pistol one. From the um, from the talents on darkness, you see I got it here and I got the pet and I got this nice one. So let me just showcase a little bit with uh, the maskets, uh, the guns. Okay, I can move, I can target him, and then I can use this one quick blast, throw him away. Oh, he's close. What can I do? Yeah. You see, enables parry. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's a, another cool mechanic. Uh, I'm on the wicked side of the abilities now. <laughs> I'm getting a damage increase by 10% and attack speed. Uh, so let's go again. Uh, I, I, now, oh, the pet is good, man. Let's just close in and just smash him. He dies pretty fast. Yeah, now I get purity. Damage taken reduced by 10% and healing taken increased. So this is more like a good side. Um, I I got this like tonic. There's a tonic mechanic. You get some tonics, you drink them and you get some buffs. You can only get one. Uh, this, this one's a fan mechanic. You start a witch hunt and then you you actually move a lot. Uh, you you have reduced cooldowns of movement abilities. Um, th this one is kind of okay. You just do a, a cleansing aura and uh, you have like a reduced uh, damage from fire, frost, and nature, and you can cure disease on yourself and others. Pretty fun, pretty fun ability. Uh, this is a taunt. Uh, this uh, get over here scorpion ability uh, or is the bind oh yeah it's a silencing the silencing one yeah he, he can he, it's interrupt and you can cast it yeah. sorry guys too many characters playing I'm just I'm just losing it uh, check out this this hunt ability uh, boom I got there chase me now I got there so you have two moving abilities this class uh, is really good in PvP and players that lack like PvP should check this class out for sure. Guys forgot to talk a little bit about uh, the light and dark mechanic and uh, th this nice uh, this ability is pretty fun. You just take the form of any humanoid beast and undead uh, and it's fun because you transform into them. Uh, that's a fun mechanic. I haven't actually tried it before, that would be my first time. <laughs> you see? <laughs> That's fun. I am one with them now. They're my friends. And you see I can't attack them. And I'm infiltrating. So this would be really nice for doing some quests that um, require you to go into like the, the depths of the cave or something. And if you're bored to like kill every mob, 
can just transform to them, take the, the item and then just go. Uh, I don't know if this works on PvP or on other faction, on um, ally or horde, but uh, if this works on PvP uh, in conjunction with uh, this stealth ability here, uh, even if it's 3 seconds, it's still stealth, uh, this class uh, should be really good on PvP. Uh, now, uh, on to the, the purity and the wickedness mechanic. Uh, as I said before, it's a light and dark mechanic that adds uh, a, little, a little more abilities and utility to some skills. Uh, as you can see here, showing blade, this is from the tanking tree. Uh, if you had wickedness, it consumes up to three uh, attacks of sense evil. Sense evil is when they hit you and you get the parry mechanic. Uh, you deal more fire damage for its stack consume, that's nice. And if you get purity, ignites the target and causes additional 50 fire damage over 15 seconds and increase all fire damage to the target. So, um, you play between purity and wickedness and um, you need to uh, monitor your mana and your rage. Uh, I, I found out that uh, this class uh, really kills all the rage because it has the moving ability that uses rage and has all of these fast and cool abilities and uh, you never have enough rage. Uh, the, play the rage playstyle is like a, a little bit more uh, at the mobility, st mobility uh, style of the game. Uh, for good to talk about uh, leveling this guy here this is a very heavy single target focused class the damage is mostly single target and it's, um, when leveling this guy you can kite with uh, the ranged ability you can stay and take the hit with uh, the melee or you can just mix and match so it's like a jack of all trades you can go to range you can go to melee uh, but mostly single target damage you need to remember that guys this class is focused on single target damage especially when leveling uh, let me just uh, watch this uh, this is a nice little uh, AO exact, not exactly AOE but it's hitting more targets so uh, you you like you take talents and you get a little bit more a AOE but this class is single target focused I would uh, say this class is for PvP players that are like um, moving around and uh, doing a lot of things, have a lot of mechanics, this class has a lot of things going on, a lot of mechanics, you need to pay attention, uh, you need to control mana and rage. Uh, I would say th this is a class with a high skill ceiling and um, not for the, like for the new players, uh, especially the tank. Uh, the tank is uh, is hard to play. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. I'm gonna cover all the spells and the abilities uh, in a little bit in the talent section that I always do uh, after the gameplay video. Uh, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about me or the videos or the classes, uh, don't hesitate to write them on the comment section. I always try to reply. Uh, as you see, I'm trying to like expand the channel a little bit and um, uh, thank you for watching. Have an amazing day.